Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make super easy, no sew scrunchies that you can make with things you probably have around your house. So before we get started, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you're going to try these scrunchies and subscribe if you like my channel. Um, make sure you also subscribe to our new channel from our cousins, 5 Awesome Cousins. We only made one video, but we're definitely going to be making more. And also subscribe to my sister's channel, Joey Dowler. So let's get started. So what you're gonna need for these scrunchies are some fabric or old t-shirts that you don't mind cutting up. Then you're also gonna need a hot glue gun. And remember that hot glue guns are very hot, so you should get adult supervision. And you're also gonna need some scissors for cutting fabric. And you could use um, fabric scissors if the, your fabric is too hard to cut. The next thing is a pencil or a sharpie to mark off where to cut on the fabric. And then the last thing is a ruler to measure how big you need to cut your fabric. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get your ruler and mark 18 inches across and 5 inches up with a pencil. I recommend marking on the non-pretty side so that when you finish your scrunchie, there's no pencil marks on the pretty side. So once you have it all marked out, you're gonna get your scissors and start cutting your fabric. It's fine if the edges of the fabric that you cut isn't all in a straight line because this is all gonna be inside the scrunchie at the end. I forgot to say before that you're also going to need an elastic band. Um, elastic bands that go in your hair work better than like rubber elastic bands, but they both work fine. So what you're going to do is put your fabric pretty side up and put the elastic band on the corner of the fabric just like this. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is put a hot glue on the bottom edge, just right there, and then you're going to fold the top edge over through the elastic and put it on the bottom. I'm sorry if this is hard to understand, but if you're wondering why the ugly side is up, is we're gonna flip the whole thing inside out after, so. So you're just gonna keep um, putting hot glue on the bottom edge of your fabric. And be careful because the hot glue is really hot, so make sure not to touch it and just be careful. And then you're gonna pull the fabric through the elastic and pull it and attach it to the other side where the hot glue is. It's kind of tricky, but you'll get the hang of it. I really hope you can understand this, but you're just gonna keep doing that until you get to the end. So once you get to the very end, you're gonna hot glue it just like how you like just like how you've been the whole time. And then you're gonna pull the fabric, the corner of that fabric to, out of the elastic. Pull, pull that little corner of the elastic and glue it on. Sorry, you can't really see here. And then it's going to look something like this. So once you have it like this, you're going to take one of the sides, it really doesn't matter which side, um, and you're going to pull the whole thing through, so it's like inside out, so just keep pulling through. And this part's probably like the hardest part of the whole thing, so you're just going to keep pulling it through, pushing it through the like one side of the scrunchie so just keep pulling it and um once it looks like this it kind of looks like you messed up but you really didn't so just keep pushing it through till it looks like a scrunchie So once it's pulled all the way through and looks like this, you're gonna take one of the sides and hot glue it shut. So now you're gonna take the closed side and put it inside the side that's open. And then you're just gonna put some glue right there and glue that shut. And now your scrunchie is finished. It's kind of difficult, but once you figure it out, it's really easy. And they're really fun. And <laughs> yeah. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe.